Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing Heaven Hills Bernheim Original Kentucky Straight Wheat Whiskey. It's batch A223, 118.8 proof. How will it stack up? Stay tuned and find out. Welcome back. Like I said, we're talking about today's Heaven Hills Bernheim Original Barrel Proof A223, 117 proof. This right here is a blend of seven to nine year old stocks that they had. It's a Kentucky straight wheat whiskey. The mash bill is 51% red winter wheat, 37% corn, 12% malted barley. So like I said, I got this one from, if I'm not sure, uh, Shared Pour. This is really hard to find here in Michigan. You can find the regular Bernheim original, uh, the wheat, but I found it to be honestly uh, worse than larceny. It's very uh, dry. It's very bitter. It's there and gone. And I saw some reviews on this from the YouTubers. And I thought, you know what? If I can find this, you know what? I'm going to try and get it. So I got it on Shared Pour. Got it about uh, two weeks ago. Had a couple drinks out of it. Wasn't too bad. Figured let it get it past, sh past the shoulder and see how it tastes. So let's get into our nose. See, this... It's a very, as you can see, it's a light amber. It's got some legs, but it has like a light, soft caramel. Like if you ever get the caramels uh, where you unwrap them that you melt to make caramel apples, caramel, caramel, I mean, tomato, tomato. That's what this smell is like. It's like a soft caramel note. You get the toasted oak, but it's more bordering on like a hint of Butterscotch. But the butterscotch to me is, uh, since I'm an 80s kid, uh, a Gen Xer, I was raised, and <laughs> sound, might sound gross to some people, we used to get the pudding in a can. There was the vanilla, there was the chocolate, but my sister and I's favorite was the butterscotch one. That's what this nose reminds me of, that when you open that can, that when you open it, that waft of that butterscotch hits you in the nose. It's got a little bit of baking spice with some clove, but not a heavy, heavy note, very faint. We talked about the whiskey, talked about the nose. Like I always say, what's the juice like inside? Let's get to our taste. That has a lot of the baking spice right up there. Almost like a soft red fruit, like a, to me it has like a, like a plum note, but it's soft. You definitely get the wheat note. It really that red winter. It's almost like a spiciness on your tongue. Uh, it coats the mid palate, but it has. It's almost like um. It's gonna sound like weird, but when you ever have like a menthol, uh, cough drop, and you put it in your mouth, and you take that that breath in, that wintry breath, and it kind of tingles on your tongue. That's what this reminds me of. It's um. It's actually like a really cool. Taste. Most wheat, bourbons, whiskeys that I've had don't have this unique kind of taste to it. This, this is, this is nice. I, like I said, I was really worried. I saw some of the YouTubers, they really, really like this. Each had their own tasting notes, which of course, that's what you guys watch us for is to get our tasting notes and say, hey, do I want to spend, you know, 60 bucks, 65 bucks on this bottle or is it going to be a hard pass? This one here for the first sip, it's not bad. But let's get into our second sip. You definitely get a charred note, but it's like an herbaceous. Like if you ever had, um, smell like the old dried herbs. Get that pungent note. You also have a citrus peel note. But again, it's not unpleasant. The Kentucky hog is just gentle and it's just starting to blossom out right here. The longer you kind of, your palate kind of swallows, it kind of goes into a warm baking spice. So for a barrel proof wheat whiskey, straight, unique red winter wheat, I would say if you see this, pick one up. It's got a unique flavor. This again, I, I've mentioned uh, several times on some of the videos I've done. This would be a great fall, like late fall, like October, you're going to like a, a tailgate at like a college game. This would be a great whiskey to sip on because it's going to warm you, 
give you a unique flavor that winter wheat really reminds me of fall. Again, my name is Brian. Like I always say, find a bottle, open the bottle, enjoy the bottle, because good whiskey, even red winter wheat whiskey, is meant to be shared. Cheers, and I'll talk with you guys soon.